here's a little workflow I use quite often. It creates spot the three differences or however amount of differences you want to create. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. Let's clear this. And first we need, we're going to load a VAE. Load VAE. We're going to move this up here. Now we're going to use the flux AE.safe tensors. We're going to use that onto a VAE decode. This might be a weird way of starting things up, but that's going to go there. And we're going to preview the image here. And next is unit load GGUF. We're going to use this. And we're going to choose Pixel Wave, uh, Pixel Wave Flux One Dev Q8. We're going to use that. And next is Dual Clip Loader. We're going to use a Dual Clip Loader GGUF because it's a GGUF file, but it makes no difference if we use the normal G uh, Dual Clip Loader. And that one's going to be the T5 XXL FPA E4M3FN Safe Tensors. And this one I'm going to use clip L safe tensors and change this to flux. I'm going to use one of my own nodes, GR image size, move that there and a new node I created called GR prompty and I'm going to put that here. I'm going to reduce the size of this because it's a bit big. We're going to change this, convert the seed to an input. input. I'm going to join the clip from this to this and the seed from this to this. Uh, leave that at random. I'm going to get a K sampler. I'm going to move that here. I'm going to connect the model to there. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Lay an image I'm going to get from GR image size. I'm going to choose SDXL. If this was set to custom, then we could use this. I'm going to change the seed to an input and we're going to connect the seed from this to this. We're going to connect the latent to this and we're going to put some inputs in the prompts say a dog, cat, mouse, elephant, lion, tiger, giraffe, uh, monkey. In this we're going to use 2D, cartoon, city, background with trees lining, trees lining the streets, sun shining down with a face. Okay, and uh, we're going to select Actually, let's do a Q prompt and see what happens. And that's not a very good image. Reason being, this needs to be one. And for pixel wave, we need to use DPM PP2M. And this needs to be SGM uniform. Uh, Denoise is fine. Let's regenerate. Since we've got randomized deselected, I'm going to undo the multi prompt, uh, disable this bypass, bypass, and add show text by Pice. And move that here and see what it shows us. So, dog 2D cartoon because we've got prompt one selected. We say one and two. So by a comma, it should give us something different. Gives us dog or cat. Gives us cat. Or if we add uh, free, say free. This should give us a random one of these three. Cat. Mouse. Okay, get rid of 
of these, select one, okay, you can select anything, and just randomize, and it should give us a random one of these. Dog, lion, elephant. And if we use multi-prompt, it should give us random versions of these. We've got cat and monkey there, mouse and elephant there. Okay, so get rid of the multi, bypass this. So let's just generate an image. Should do a monkey, 2D cartoon, city background with trees, lining the streets, sun shining down with a face. Okay. Zoom this in. Not bad. Here's a 2D cartoon. We're going to change this to fixed. And we're going to add another case sampler. Change this to 1. This to DPM PP2M and SGM uniform. Set latent noise mask. Going to use the, put this here. Going to get the latent here and the latent there, join the positive and the negative and the model. We're going to load something else, GR mask creator random multi, put that there, we're going to get the mask to there, image, we're going to preview that and we're going to do a mask preview as well, we're going to join that to there. So I'll move that down a bit, so the space, and we're going to get the image from this and put it into there. Here we don't need, to, we should ideally randomize this, so we're going to go with fixed for now. Actually, let's change the seed to an input from here, so it matches, that seed and that seed matches. 0 0.08 it's a percentage so 0 0.08 percent of the size of the image we're going to use free masks exclude borders yes so we don't want to generate image uh, a mask around the border or along the border from the border how, how many values away from the height keep that at 15 border width 15 minimum distance so it's going to gen generate three masks. What is the minimum distance between each mask? Because if you have that at zero, you, overlap, so you can overlap. So keep that at 10. Ring color, uh, say red. This is basically showing you where the mask is on the final image. Ring type solid. Yep, that's fine. Distance from boundary is how far away from the mask do you want the ring to be ring thickness five is fine circular is fine use image dimensions no nope. so what we're going to do convert height and width to inputs and move them here and here we want to do a VA decode so copy that Let's join the VAE, samples to samples, preview image. Let's watch this and see what happens. Oh, we need to change that to, let's cancel this. Might need to move this down a bit, move this down a bit. This case sample is going to take up that space. So we've got a giraffe, and here is a commercial break. Okay, so these are the three masks it created, and this is the spot on the actual image. There you go, that's the image. And if we compare that, so put that here instead of there, and zoom in. So 
So we've got a change here. We don't see it here. Sometimes because of the background, you don't get the full. Let's change the seed and redo this. Okay, let's compare this. The difference here is, you can see it there. Difference there, as you can see, it's different to the other picture. Here, because we're in open space, you can't see the difference. If you get to fill this up, it'd be better. So, what we're gonna do now is GR stack image. We're gonna do it with a border of say 20, white background, and horizontal stack is true. So let's get our first image and our second image and preview image that one. So it joins up both images together. You could do horizontal and it does it this way. Now I'm going to get an empty image and I already know the dimensions I need. You might have to figure out which what you need. 2060 for the width, 1250 for the height, batch size one, color, you can leave that as it is. And we're gonna get image paste by Mikey. And we're gonna have the empty image as the background and this image as the foreground. We don't have to touch this. Preview image. And there we go, we've got a empty space at the bottom. And what I'm gonna do is GR text overlay and put that in between there. So that goes there, that goes there. I'm gonna type in uh, find three differences okay you can choose the font whatever system font you have you'll use them it'll show up and it's put it there so what we want to do increase the size to say 115 gonna vertical alignment at the bottom center and keep that as center Padding, not bothered about that. Uh, white writing, we want a background to it. And uh, say background size of 20, and background stroke size of say 10. And we want that to be white. And make the background color gray, for example. Background opacity to zero, and rounded. We could increase the size because of this font, say 140. If we change that to blue, find three differences. Might increase that to 180. Let's see what happens. That overlaps it, so we don't want to go there. 160 maybe. Want to move it down a bit, so let's increase this by say 49. There you go. Find three differences. Uh, what did I have in my original? For the three differences. You could choose whatever you want. And here we go. To get an image of the result, you could copy this. Copy this. And we'll have the background image that. And what we do. Get another stack image and we get this to be the second and this to be the first that goes into there preview image images must have the same batch size ah we need that one there I Now we have the results as well. 
and this is the full workflow so if you like this please hit the like button uh, subscribe for more videos that should be more frequent with my videos now I'm gonna put links in for all the models no, uh, nodes in the description as well as the workflow you can find on my github along with the nodes thanks for watching see you next time